morning my beautiful friends welcome back to another video i hope you have been keeping so very well i am so very excited for today's video because i'm going to be sharing with you a week of vegan dessert ideas and that means Yes, in today's video, I am sharing with you seven really delicious vegan dessert recipes. I really hope you'll love them. And if you do make them at home, make sure to tag me on Instagram on your story so that I can check it out and repost it and all of that beautiful stuff. Some of these recipes are gluten free. Some of them are refined sugar free. All of them are vegan and delicious, which is exactly what I want from food personally. I really hope you enjoy today's video and let's get into the recipes. The first dessert we are making is a rocky road chocolate fudge slice kind of thing. To be honest, I have absolutely no idea what to call it. Anyway, I'm starting by melting some dark chocolate over the heat in a saucepan and then adding in some coconut cream, vanilla, maple syrup and salt and mixing it until it is nice and smooth. Then in a bowl, I put some dried strawberries, raw hazelnuts, and vegan marshmallows before pouring the chocolate sauce over the top and mixing it all together. I poured this into a lined baking tin, topped it with coconut and flaked almonds, and then I put it in the fridge to set for a few hours. It should be pretty easy to cut through and I cut mine into little rectangles to enjoy throughout the week. You can very simply store these in the fridge in an airtight container. Next up, we're making these almond butter choc coated protein balls that were inspired by my friend and fellow vegan foodie, Jessie Wallace. If you're looking for a super easy and delicious vegan and gluten-free recipes, definitely give her a follow on Instagram. She is very awesome. Anyway, to make these, I first mixed some almond meal, vanilla protein powder, salt, almond butter, maple syrup in a bowl. And then I used my hands to make this kind of like cookie dough texture. I then melted my favorite chocolate, hazelnut milk by Pico, of course, <laughs> and I rolled the dough into balls, coated it in said chocolate, and then I put them in the fridge to set for about an hour. Out of all of the vegan desserts I made this week, these were my favorite and they were also Kara's favorite. She could not stop going on about them. Okay, it's time for something a little bit fruity and we are gonna make some passion fruit and coconut yogurt muffins. In a bowl, I first mixed two flax eggs, coconut yogurt, vegan butter, coconut sugar, and vanilla until super smooth. Then I added in plain flour, baking powder, and salt before mixing it again and adding in the passion fruit. In hindsight, I actually would add the passion fruit at the first step in today's recipe, so that will be reflected in the recipe uh, if you do make this at home. So yeah, I spooned the mixture into a lined muffin tray. I baked these in the oven and then I served them warm. This is definitely the most subtly sweet recipe in today's video, so if you're not much of a sweet tooth, then these muffins are perfect for you. Next up, we are making one of my favorite easy desserts, which is a frappe. Frappes are so good and so easy to make. I highly recommend. For this one, I started with some ice cubes followed by some cookies and cream ice cream, dairy-free of course. Then I added in maple syrup, vanilla, and soy milk, and I blended it until it was nice and smooth. I poured this into a glass and I served it with a chalk coated strawberry, which gives you a little bit of a sneak peek into a recipe that you're going to see later on in today's video. Alrighty, next up we are making a raw strawberry and coconut slice, which is actually so good. I really impressed myself with this one, that's for sure. So in a bowl, you're first of all going to combine some almond meal, coconut, maple syrup, almond butter, and salt, and use your hands to mix it until it is smooth. Then I put this mixture into a lined baking tray and I pressed it down, and then I put this in the fridge whilst I was making the next layer. For the next layer, you will need a high powered blender or a food processor or something similar to that. And I'm first of all starting by putting in some soaked cashews, followed by some fresh strawberries, maple syrup, lemon juice, coconut cream, 
vanilla and salt and then blending it until it is super smooth. I poured this mixture over the first layer and put it in the freezer for about three to four hours or until it was set. I sliced it with a warm knife once I got it out of the freezer, served it with some fresh strawberries and very simply I can keep it or you can keep it uh, in an airtight container in the freezer until you're in the mood for a, a strawberry and coconut sweet snack slash dessert moment. <laughs> So here's the thing, lemon desserts usually aren't my thing. Like I love to eat them, don't like to make them because I usually don't do super well at making them. But these cookies are so good and I'm super proud of them. They are also gluten-free for all of my gluten-free friends uh, and I hope you enjoy. Anyway, we're starting with a mixing bowl and mixing some raw sugar, vegan butter, lemon juice and lemon zest until it is super smooth. Then adding in some almond meal, buckwheat flour and baking soda and mixing it well before adding in the poppy seeds. This makes about 10 to 12 cookies and I baked them for almost 20 minutes. So they were nice and soft on the inside, but so delicious and crispy on the outside, which is just the perfect cookie in my opinion. Last but certainly not least, we are making a delicious refined sugar free chocolate sauce to serve with your favorite fresh fruit. Over the heat, I'm combining coconut oil, maple syrup, vanilla, cacao powder, and salt until nice and smooth. It looks so good. Like as I'm watching this, I'm like, oh, I need some of this chocolate sauce in my life. <laughs> From there, I'm then dipping in some strawberries. You could obviously do whatever fruit that you would like and putting these into the fridge so that the chocolate sauce sets. What I love about this sauce is you can enjoy it warm uh, with fruit or with whatever else you would like, or you can also enjoy it uh, with the chocolate sauce having set on your fruit as a nice little dessert. <laughs> Alrighty, my beautiful friends. So that was a week of vegan dessert ideas. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy today's video, I have a few other videos I think that you will absolutely love. I will leave them on the screen somewhere here if you'd like to check them out. But as always, I do want to say a big thank you to you for being here and for supporting my YouTube channel. I appreciate it and I appreciate you so very much. I'll see you very soon for another video, but until then, I hope you have a very beautiful day. I'll see you soon. Bye! <laughs>